Hello, and welcome back to Coco for Disney. I'm so glad you're here. Today I have some Sleeping Beauty items to share with you that I just recently got. Um, if you've watched my channel, if you're getting to know my channel, you definitely know <laughs> that I am a Sleeping Beauty addict. Um, I love anything Sleeping Beauty. Um, Maleficent is my very, my first very number one character that I fell in love with, but I fell in love with the movie Sleeping Beauty at a very quite young age. So I love anything Sleeping Beauty. I also have become a YouTuber, <laughs> as you well know. Um, and becoming a YouTuber is amazing because you have that Disney community that helps you, um, enables you <laughs> in your addiction. So there were a couple, there was an item, uh, a couple of items that came out that I wasn't aware of. Had I just been um, watching a few videos here and there, I may have missed the items. Um, so there were a few items that people alerted me to in different ways. So the first one I saw was someone who was doing reels on um, on their um, from their YouTube channel, and it was Funko Pops. So I picked up a Funko Pop. Now this is just not any Funko Pop for me. Um, Disney ha is com has come out with the 100 um, Funko Pops, and this one um, was one of the first ones to come out. And of course, it is my girl, Aurora. <laughs> I share her with a lot of other YouTubers. Um, yours truly, Darling, loves her. Um, the Food Cat and the Snack Cat love her. Magical Rebecca Me um, loves um, Aurora. So there's quite a few fans out there that really love her. Um, I just love her. I Make it blue, make it pink. Dusty Boo, Disney also loves Aurora. He loves the blue Aurora. <laughs> I like the blue or the pink. I don't know which one's my favorite, but she is a gorgeous Funko Pop. You can see, so it has the little um, translucent that looks like the magic of when she's twirling or dancing that her dress is changing from um, blue to pink. Look at her little crown, her hair. They always do such a great job on her hair. Aurora has the best blonde hair ever. Just so beautiful, isn't she? So the next item I got, um, also, I got alerted to by um, my YouTube friends. Um, the first one to alert me was TLW underscore Lushe2. Shay is her name. If you have not checked out her YouTube channel yet, you need to. Um, this woman, oh, she always looks so put together in her videos. <laughs> Her hair is perfect, her makeup. She has the best nails I've ever seen. I have no nails. <laughs> but she also has some gorgeous ba bags and some gorgeous Disney items in her background. Her background is amazing. She has a whole Disney room and it's not, it doesn't look like it's a small room. So she's got some amazing things, but um, both she and um, Melissa at Pixie, um, Dustin Peaches alerted me to this bag. Um, this is a bag that's been out for a while. I've had it for a while. I was gonna video it when I first got it, um, got delayed in it, and then just kinda um, waited for this for a second bag to come in to show you. So this bag um, was out by Toys and Fun. And this is the Castle Sequin bag. Now they have a sister bag, um, Toys and Fun. It is T-O-Y-Z-N-F-U-N. Um, had a sister bag, a Cinderella bag out as well in her. Yours Truly Darling has showed this bag, but that sequined pocket, look at that. That is the only part of the bag that is sequined, but if I bring it in close enough, you're gonna see, and I don't know if you're gonna see it or not. Oh, can you see it right there? Just a little bit of that. In, without the camera, you can really see it. It's a glistening white. Just glistens so well. The applique in the front is that castle. Just gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. The roses are all out front there as well. 
you do have that Disney plaque that's lined in the pink with the darker pink on the plaque. And look at the zipper pull. <laughs> it's Flora. Isn't she cute? I'm assuming they chose Flora because she is pink like this, the bag. You have the gold, are you, I'm sorry. You have the silver hardware along that with that normal size outside pocket that Loungefly usually makes. If we go to the side, you do have the side pockets and they are lined to that pink. Again, it is just a shimmering white. I wish you could see that, but it just shimmers so beautifully. You have the trim of the zipper and it is that silver hardware. Again, here's that applique of that castle coming off the top of the bag. You turn it to the other side and it is again the same white. Again, that glistening, there we go a little bit, you can see it. But it's got sparkle to it too, just so subtle. And again, a side pocket, again, your silver zipper hardware. Let's look at the bottom, yes, it's that hot pink. So it's not so bad if it were white, I would hate to ever set this bag down. If you go to the top of the bag, you see that pink loop handle in that same bright pink as the zipper. The back straps are also padded in that, as, long, as well as the extender being a little bit of a lighter pink, not much, a lighter pink and then your tab. As we go to the back, there is magic. And there you have that spindle with the little sparkles around it. These sparkles, sparkles here are indented into the bag. Just so pretty. And there is your Princess Loungefly tag. Now, let me show you the lining. Don't even remember the lining. <laughs> So this bag does have an inside zipper with that same silver hardware. And look at that. Look at that beautiful lining. It is Princess Aurora and her crown. Just so pretty. I just love that sparkle. I just think that's so pretty. <laughs> now. I have some other YouTube friends who alerted me to a bag without even knowing that, that they did. So I watch Raising a Disney Princess. It's Michelle and her daughter, Princess Adrian. And they took a little road trip one day. Um, they took a road trip to a tent sale. And this tent sale was being held by a uh, gentleman and a company named The Mad Bagger. Now, I had no idea that this bag exists. I don't know that uh, that Michelle or Princess Adrian had seen the bag while they were there either, um, but I was watching their video, their vlog, and they went to a tent sale where the Mad Bagger was having this great outdoor tent sale, and um, Michelle was talking to him, and I thought, oh, you know what? There's a tent sale. I wonder if he's having a sale online. So Michelle and Princess Adrian, from your video, I got on the online at the Mad Bagger, and I found an amazing surprise there. So thank you so much for going to visit him that day. Otherwise, I would not have this bag because I had not seen this bag anywhere. He did show a video on it, but I don't know how long ago it was. I do know it came out at the same time as another popular bag, which was the Pirates of the Caribbean ride bag. Michelle and Princess Adrian, thank you so much because this bag. All right, so I'll use Sleeping Beauty fans. Um, this bag, I believe, was $80 when I saw it. Um, I got back on it because um, I was looking again for some more sales from the Mad Bagger. And as I did, this bag is now $60. And it's pretty different and a very unusual bag for Sleeping Beauty and I love it. Look at that. It is Briar Rose at the top here. 
and Prince Philip and Samson in the thorns on the outside pocket. Look at the artwork on that bag. And you know I love Briar Rose. The other beautiful thing about this bag is the zipper pull. It is the sword of Prince Philip, the sword of truth, I believe it was. And there he's holding it there as well. That is just a very cool, different, different Sleeping Beauty bag. Everything about it is different. And the other thing that I want you to see is the color of the bag. So I love that Loungefly did not take away from the artwork and they put the plaque on the side of the bag. Now, this is unusual for, for Sleeping Beauty because it's in a burgundy. It's in a darker color. It is a beautiful, deep purple burgundy with more hints of purple than browns. You ha have this side pocket right here. You have the gold hardware. I'll take you to the other side of the bag. Again, I just love that sword, the Sword of Truth. There's your pocket again, your gold hardware, your two, it's a two zip bag. Top of that. There are no appliques that come off the top of this bag either. You have that top loop handle in the same color. It's an, the, the bag for the most part on the sides and the back straps are all the same color. Your extenders that same color again with the gold hardware and the tab. The underside of it is again that deep purple burgundy. And now we're going to go to the back of the bag. Once Upon a Dream, and those thorns, the thorns that Prince Philip has to fight through is back there. Now, Maleficent isn't on this bag, but the thorns are. <laughs> so, the next thing I wanna look at, and you know I wanna check out the lining. <sighs> the lining is amazing. It is the roses and the spinning wheels. Now there is also an inside zipper pocket on the other side, right here. And it is in that same, oh, it is in a burgundy. It's not in the gold hardware, it's in the burgundy zipper bag. They're really showing off that color for Sleeping Beauty right now in this bag. So that lining was gorgeous beautiful so what I really love about this bag is the feel is the feel of it so I love coach bags I love the feel of the real leather coach bags the softer ones they've had in the past and it's a vegan leather but like her um, and Diablo and the Grotto's treasure um, bag they have a great feel in the vegan leather and smooth, and they're the darker colors. So these are bags, especially this bag. This will be a bag that I will use. Um, I don't wanna mess up her beautiful artwork, but it is a great bag. And again, for $60 on the Mad Bagger. Now it may be even cheaper now, but I just checked it last week um, before Memorial Day and it was $60 and a great bag. So now I have two more bags to add to my Sleeping Beauty collection. I think and I'm hoping there's a couple more bags coming out. Um, again, YouTube friends were showing these. Yours truly, Darling, showed um, there's a sequined, all black sequined um, bag, except for the outside pocket and it's round and it has a Maleficent dragon in green on the front of the bag. So if you imagine what that looks like, that sequin black with that pop of beautiful translucent green um, with the black dragon on it. Oh, that's a beautiful bag. The other one that I really would love to have. So these are two of my grails. Now we're going on grails. Two that I would love to have. Um, the other one is a cosplay of Briar Rose. 
so both of those are shown coming out of Australia right now, which we can't get. Um, but you can believe if I have a moment where a YouTube friend says, hey, <laughs> check out that bag, um, you can bet that I'm gonna be there. So I love my YouTube friends, my Disney community friends for um, alerting me to the bags. I do not find them on my own. Um, they alert me and tell me where they are and even without knowing it. So thank you, Michelle and Princess Adrian, for being there that day because I would not have gotten online and I would not have found this bag. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. So I hope you like the collection that's building. <laughs> um, um, I hope I have room for it. Um, Alpha Traveler 1. Um, you've got to watch his channel. He uh, takes a lot of Disney trips. He's been going into the parks lately and into the stores at Disney Springs. So make sure you're following him. He's always asked me, Pam, where are you going to have, where are you going to put that bag? <laughs> and Disney Hobby Guide. Um, you want to make sure you're watching Disney Hobby Guide if you want to the latest and um, greatest news on Disney. Um, I've watched his um, channel for some time now and he alerted us to not only annual our pass holder passes coming back out but um, DVC membership which my daughter is and we never get very much news about that and um, the third thing he alerted us to was the very scary the very scary Halloween party that was coming to Disney World and we got our tickets um, from his information coming out that day. So make sure you're watching those channels as well. You can find a whole lot of things from your Disney community on YouTube. So make sure you're watching the channels that give you the information that help you. And um, I invite you to become a part of the Disney community. It's a lot of fun. So again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a good day, good week. Thank you for letting me share. And as they say in the parks, have a magical day. <laughs> thank you, bye now.